In Unreal, we may want to add some quite basic functionality or trigger events to our level. So to do this, we need to add a trigger volume to allow the, um, the character to overlap it, which will then cause the actual effects that we want. So we need to add a volume trigger volume, and thus will give us a wire frame cube. Now we align this to where we want the overlap to happen. So when the character enters this, so we'll place it here because I want this cube to be affected. So I want the character, as soon as they enter this trigger volume, something to happen to this cube. Now we can resize, resize this by pressing R. We can change the bounds of the trigger volume. So you can have it as large or small as you like. So we've got a trigger volume and we have our object that we want to affect. So now we need to open the level blueprint. So we go to the little node icon here, the graph, and open level blueprint. Now we'll give you this. It may have some stuff already in. I've deleted it. So for now, we need to add our actual object that we want to be affected. So we click it in 3D Viewer. It'll, it'll highlight in our outliner. We'll left click and drag drop into the level blueprint. We also want the trigger volume. So we will select the trigger volume. So we've done that in 3D Viewer. Then we'll right click in the level blueprint and look for overlap. It will always be at the top. We want to add on actor begin overlap. So once the character goes into the trigger volume, we want it to do something. So now we'll left click on the cube and drag out and then we'll search for destroy. So I want it to destroy the actor, which an actor is the object. So when we overlap the trigger volume, it will destroy the cube. So it's already hooked that up. We then need to hook up the executable. So we left click and drag into there and we need to compile. So very basic blueprint, but this is going to allow the object to be destroyed. So now when we play and go in, the cube is there. As soon as I go into the trigger volume, it destroys the actor. It's fully gone. Now we can really quickly do some different things with this. Um, so again, open as level blueprint. I don't want it to destroy anymore. Instead, I want it to set the material. So I want it to change the material when we overlap it. So sometimes it'll change and add this little node in between. It's just changing it to a static mesh component. Not everything can work straight off there, but UE5 puts that in for you. So again, hook up the executable to the set material. It's going to change the chamfer cube to a different material than it is. So I'll change the material asset here, so we'll change it to this one. So as soon as we go to the trigger volume, it'll change to this material. So we compile, close this, and we'll just test it. So again, cube's blue at the minute. As soon as I enter, it should go yellow. So as easy as that. Now we may want it to stay yellow, but if we want it to change back when we exit, we can add that as well. So open as level blueprint again. Just move it so we can see his trigger volume. So we click on his trigger volume and highlight it. Oh, I already had it. Right click in here. We're going to do the overlap again. But instead, it's when the overlap ends. So actor end overlap. So when we exit the trigger volume, we want it to do something. So you could have it destroy it when we exit. Or we could have it go back to what it was previously. So we can just drag over this. Control C and Control V. Copy and paste plug it in and then we'll change it back to the blue material so the solid blue so we enter it goes yellow we exit and it goes back to blue so we compile play and we will go in so it's blue we go in it goes yellow we exit it goes back blue and that will just keep looping so there's quite a few different things that you can do functionality wise very basic blueprint something just to look at and see what different options you can get some of the most common is toggling visibility. So it's set visibility to either hidden or the other. So it toggles between visible or not. Set materials and destroying actors. So I hope this helps. Thank you.